Hello again, everybody. Well, we're in the Christmas season and all sorts of things are said during this time of year. Uh, we wish people Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. We say things like Christmas is a time to love, it's a time to give. And these are all really wonderful things to say and focus on. But sometimes in the midst of all of the effort to love and to give, we really forget what the first Christmas was really all about. And we see what the purpose of Christmas was when the angel came and spoke to Joseph right before uh, their trip, Mary and Joseph's trip to Bethlehem. And we see what the angel said in Matthew chapter 1, verse 21, where the angel says to Joseph, she will give birth to a son and you are to give him the name Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. And a lot of times in our culture today, we don't like to talk about missing the mark. We don't like to talk about sin. We'd rather talk about a myriad of other things. But the reason Jesus came was because he wanted us to be free from the anchors and the weights of sin. We see in the book of Psalms, the 103rd chapter, where the Psalm that was written by David says, O my soul, bless God, and don't forget a single blessing. It's good to remember all the blessings of the Lord, isn't it? Don't forget a single blessing, and he forgives your sins, every single one of them. If you go down a little bit further in that same chapter in verse 12, he says it this way, as far as sunrises from sunset, he has separated us from our sins. The NIV version says it this way, as far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. This is God's goal to create in us a freedom to be able to love and a freedom to be able to give because we're no longer weighted down by our sins and our sorrows. Paul in the book of Romans, as he's writing to the church at Rome, he says this, chapter six, verse 13 and 14. Throw yourselves wholeheartedly and full time. Remember, you've been raised from the dead. Throw yourselves wholeheartedly and full time into God's way of doing things. For sin can't tell you how to live any longer. After all, you're not living under that old tyranny any longer. You're living in the freedom of God. Many of you probably have seen the movie series, Band of Brothers. And there was one very, uh, very moving episode called Why We Fight. And it was when the Allies discovered all of these terrible uh, camps that uh, many of the Jews, they weren't just, they weren't prison camps. They weren't pr camps of captured prisoners, but they were internment camps of Jews and uh, other people that were thought to be less than in society. And in this particular episode, the, the Nazis knew that the Allies were coming and they just, they just all hightailed it out of there, left the camp as it was. The gates of the camp were open, and yet the prisoners or those people who had been captured there never left. They had been they had been in such a mentality of bondage for so long that even when their freedom was given to them, they didn't even know how to walk out of the prison camp. And sometimes I believe that's how we are. God has given us our freedom. Jesus came to free us from our sins, to save us from our sins. And yet our mentality has been one of sinfulness for so long that we just don't think any other way. And I wanna encourage you this time, this year, this Christmas, that, that you would begin to sense the true freedom that you have 
to be able to throw yourselves wholeheartedly and full time into God's way of doing things. Just unabashedly throw yourselves into doing the things of God, God's ways. Throw yourselves into it. Don't ever think that, well, I, I've been too much of a sinner or I've done this and I failed here and my whole life has nothing been one of one failure after another and there's this thing, sin that so easily besets me and I continually fall into this and it has mastery over me. And I just want to encourage you today to throw yourselves into God. Throw yourselves not only at the mercy of God, but into the ways of God so that the real freedom that Jesus has come to give us can be obtained in our lives. For you see, Christmas is really about Jesus coming to save us from our sins. And as we have been freed from our sins, and as we have been saved from our sins, we can then begin to love. We can then begin to give. There'll be a want to in our inner being, to want to give ourselves to love, to want to give ourselves to giving. And today, let's just be so thankful for the gift that God has given to us in that we have a savior who has come to save us from our sins, every single one of them, to be removed as far as the east is from the west, from sunrise to sunset. God is so good. So today, let's walk in the freedom that God has given to us. Let's throw ourselves wholeheartedly into the ways of God. And let's just be so grateful and thankful this Christmas season that every transgression, every sin has been taken care of by Jesus. Whatever sins you have in your past, they do not have to have mastery over your future. You can be freed from them today in Christ Jesus. So let me pray with you real quick. So Father, I pray in Jesus' name that the reason Jesus came, the reason you came to free us from our sins, save us from our sins, that every single one of us that hearing this message today will experience that freedom We'll move in that place. We'll throw ourselves into all of your ways, Lord. We love you. Thank you that, Lord, sin doesn't have to have mastery over us, but rather you can be our master. We are prisoners, but not of sin, of your love today. We bless your name today. We love you. Amen. God bless you. Thanks for watching this. Uh, please stay in touch with us. Send us an email or text and let us know how you're doing. We'd love to hear from you. God bless you. God bless you. Hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.